Power banks are becoming more and more popular, small portable ones that you can take with you. In fact, I like taking one with me when I go to the woods. I have it there not only to ensure that I have sufficient power for my cell phone in case I need it, but also for recharging my other devices like headlamps and even the camera equipment that I use while I'm out in the woods. I also like taking them traveling because it's just nice to have that assurance that you'll have power available no matter where you are. But you know, more, most of them are pretty much the same. They all work very much the same and there's not a lot of differences between the two. Well, I have something that I want to share with you that is very different and that is the XTAR PB2SL portable power bank and battery charger. And what's make this different, you provide the batteries for it. So if you're interested in hearing more about this unit, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank XTAR for sending out the PB2SL portable power bank and charger so that I could share it with you. You know, this is the second item that XTAR has offered to send me so that I could bring it to you. The first being a flashlight, and I'll put a link to that review at the end of this video in the event you're interested. Yeah, let's take this down to the tabletop. I'll go over its key features. I'll go over its performance specifications and its operation, and I'll share my experiences with you. All right, just before we take a closer look at the XTAR PB2SL portable power bank and battery charger, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So to begin, of course, this is the box that arrived in with quite a bit of information on the front and the back. It does have a manual with warranty information. It does come with a good size and good quality, as far as I can see, USB Type-C charging cable. And it did also come with this little bracket, and I'll explain what this bracket is all about in just a moment. All right, so let's bring the unit back in. So what are the seam, the key features for this unit? Well, to start with, it, it is both a charger for charging your batteries up and for use as a power bank. The other thing is, is that it can be used with two different size batteries. Right now I have the 21700 lithium ion batteries, two different batteries that came out of two of my flashlights. But in addition to these, you can use the slightly smaller 18650 batteries, and they're more common. People tend to have more of those about than they do just this one, these batteries here. And uh, let me bring this back in because I'll explain what this is all about now. So if what this requires is two batteries that have either the button top, that's the small protruding portion on top, or a battery that is what they call flat top. Now this is a larger battery, but it's the only one I had that had a flat top on it. If your batteries, either your 18650 or your 21700 batteries have the flat top, that's where this little bracket comes in. So you would drop this inside the unit right at the top right there and then you drop your batteries in and they will make co proper contact with the rest of the unit itself. So let me just take that out. I'm gonna just leave the batteries aside for a moment, close the unit up. Uh, there is one other thing, oh, this little ribbon is handy for pulling the batteries out, but it can be a little annoying <laughs> for getting back in. Um, here's another feature on the light that's worth showing. There's a little bracket here that turns horizontal and you would bring that into the horizontal position if you were using 18650 batteries because of course they're slightly smaller diameter means they'd be looser inside of the case and by turning that in this horizontal position it provides just a little bit of downward pressure so that they'll stay in place inside of the unit and I'm just going to push that back into position and the last thing that I'll show you about the case itself is that it closes magnetically. So very easy to get in at your batteries, either if you're using it as a charger or if you're using it as a power bank, it does close on. Now I will say from experience, and I'll share this with you now, that in my testing, what I found is that if I dropped it from a height, probably about that height with the batteries in, sometimes the lid will pop off. So I just want you to be aware of that. That's not a, a deal breaker by any means, but it is something to be aware of that you will have to be uh, take into account the fact that this may pop off on you. Now, if that's an issue for you, then easy enough to either an elastic band or a ranger band to help hold that on. 
but it's great in that it provides quick access without having to go through unscrewing the top off or anything else if all you're using it for is a charger. Okay, I'm going to put the batteries back in and we'll go over the specifications for the unit. So to drop the batteries back in, there's two spring-loaded protrusions here. Drop, drops in like that. The other one drops in like that. Put the lid on and we are good to go. All right, now let's go over the physical specifications for this unit. So overall length, five and seven eighths of inches or 122 millimeters with two and one quarter inches, 56 millimeters and height or depth is one inch exactly at 28 millimeters. When the unit is empty, it weighs in at 2.9 ounces or 81 grams. With the two 21700 lithium ion batteries I have in it, the weight increases to 8.3 ounces or 234 grams. All right, let's go through the operation of this unit. First, I'll talk about how you use it as a charger for the batteries. So you can see that I have the batteries installed, one each. Now you can charge one battery or two batteries at a time, whatever your preference is, and either the 21700s like this or the 18650 batteries. So they're loaded in like any other charger would be. And then you're gonna take your USB Type-C cable, which is plugged into a power source, plug it into the USB Type-C input and output port, and then you'll see a display giving you some statistics for what's taking place. So what you're going to see here, of course, is you're going to see a percentage of the battery charge. You're going to see both the voltage and current for the two batteries together. Now, this is showing the two batteries, uh, an average of the current between the two batteries. So if you want to look at what the status for each individual battery is, there is a button on the side which you press and it'll display B1 for battery battery one showing you the voltage and the current press it again b2 for battery two so it's kind of a nice feature and you know you can actually check individual batteries by taking one of them out and then pressing the status and you'll know what the percentage of just that battery is if uh, you're concerned that maybe both of the batteries are not as equal quality that way all right now as far as output goes we'll change this around so we'll take the cable out We'll turn it around. We're going to plug the cable into the USB type A port. I have another flashlight off to the side here. Then I'm going to plug in as my, what is being charged. So now the unit is being used as a battery bank for the other flashlight. And again, it's going to show status. So it shows what the status of my batteries as well as the outgoing current and voltage which is also great now if i press the button what i can see and remember there are two outputs on this first there is the usb type a output and there's also the usb type c output it's an input and an output port so i can press and right up here at the top, it'll tell me which is in operation. And if I had pressed it and both were in operation, then of course it would show uh, output one and output two, or just output two if the other unit was in operation. So let's just be clear though, this is a fast charge port. So this will deliver the higher current for fast charge items. So if you have a flashlight or a tablet or a phone or something that accept fast charges, you can use this to charge your device much more quickly. All right, let's close this video up with a few more comments for the Xtar PB2SL portable power bank and battery charger. So there is one thing that I noted that was not in the information that was provided, and that is it did not have an IP or waterproof rating for the unit, and it did also not have an impact rating for it. Uh, now, those were not deal breakers to me considering for the use I would put this through, but in my experiences I shared that if you drop this from any height with batteries in it, then they are going to pop out of the case. Again, not a deal breaker for me because I plan on putting a, either an elastic band or a ranger band around this just to keep them installed. And then I can take that off easy enough when I need to access the battery. So what I really like about this is the fact this brings two units in one. It provides me a battery charger for all of my batteries, whether I'm traveling or here at home. And it also provides me a power bank. So I don't have to have two different units if I'm traveling. I have a power bank for the extra power I may need 
and a means of charging my batteries at the same time. I think that's quite a unique combination and worth considering. Okay, this is all I have to share for you on this unit. I will be putting all the information information I have, including the links where you can take a closer look at this unit, as well as the specifications for it in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.